<laughs> Welcome back, family. Mangitu Yanagari. Mangitu Adam. And this is PVTV. Um, so we wanted to show you guys a little bit of like, I guess, the progress. Because if you've been following us, um, you know this. But if you haven't, and you just now finding this episode, basically, uh, my family and I moved to Gambia, Africa from um, Little Rock, Arkansas. And our whole goal is to try to promote people to move to Africa, to live in Africa, to invest in Africa. Um, and through that are going into real estate where we will be developing tiny homes. Um, back in America, we realized that living in a tiny home is the way. We, we were able to, from living in a tiny home, on our own land, this this is another thing, on our own land, land that we own uh, is family land, but it's still land that is yours freely to live on. Um, and through that, we were able to save up for our dream. We were able to um, do things that the, our peers couldn't do. We were able to, um, you know support family members even during times where you know it seems like they should have been the one supporting us so it's like living in a tiny home has really 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 redefined our mindset of life our mindset of like unity as a family it helped us grow closer and through this um you're able to have a new perspective but also start something and actually continue because you have a foundation behind you that's sustainable, something that will, you can keep and you don't have the fear of, I'm gonna lose this house if I don't pay um, these three bills, or I can't afford my mortgage anymore if the bank gonna take my home. It's, it's just so much that we could unpack, but all in all, we are building tiny homes here in Gambia, Africa. We have land with Bayama Group right now, and we're waiting for certain developments until we're able to move on to that land. And that's when you'll start to actually see the process, the process of this going on, but that will only be through our Patreon. And we wanted to come and show you guys a little bit of the PDF that we received for our designs. And we're excited about it. It's, it's, it's something that, you know, I feel like people um, in my age group take a while to get to this stage in life. And so I'm very excited about showing you guys this. Adam? Yes, I mean, you know, it was a long time coming. It was a, a long time thought process, started in America. We went through a lot of uh, crazy things in America, dealing with the housing industry, you know, landlords, apartment complexes, things of that nature. And eventually we just realized that owning your own, um, minimizing your debt, minimizing your bills is so important. and to be able to live a free life, a real life. Because you can move anywhere, but if you're shackled down by your bills, then you're not really free. Because you're going to that nine to five or you're worried about the next bill, living paycheck to paycheck. So like she was saying earlier, this this framework, this, this modest mansion framework that we're building here, it really allows you to come at an affordable price point, have your space, have your freedom, have all the luxuries of a full-size home, and still, you know, be comfortable and, and be sure that you made that right decision, that right decision in your transition. And there's several options that we're going to offer. You know, you're not going to just have to be able to buy the house outright. No, you can do month to month uh, base. And there's other options as well where we can either partner to build the home together and percentages are shared. And so there, there's going to be a lot of different options when it comes to owning your own home. But the biggest thing is, that, that turnkey experience where you have your home built, ready to go for you, as well as that peace of mind that you're moving somewhere with all the luxuries, all the amenities that you, that, that, that you need. And it's close to a lot of different, like for instance, if you need hospital, um, hospital aid, schools, things of that nature, it's close to everything. It's not too far from the capital. 
and you have access to a lot of the, like I said earlier, amenities, there's local markets, things of that nature that you can go to if you need things. So really, we want to offer people, and this is another thing, right? We notice here, our community, talking to African-American community specifically, there's not a community for us quite yet. You know, we haven't come together and just built a community and, and have environments where we live in large numbers. So, you know, we want to actually champion that. We want to actually bring that to fruition. And we believe that having our homes here, you know, I don't, it's, it's affordable housing, but in America, you know, if you're from America or if you're from the West, the term affordable housing makes you think poor or makes you think, you know, lacking or not having, not having some type of standard of living. But that's not at all the case as you see these designs that we have you're able to live in a very beautiful, architecturally designed home. Um, several different spaces that you're able to utilize, like the courtyard in the front, as you saw in the last image. This one has a courtyard in the back. Yes, that's the front courtyard there. And you're able to have all these amenities. Of course, I don't know if you noticed the roof, the rooftop um, lounging area on the building, on the building, the first building, which is the living room and kitchen space. It has a rooftop lounging area. So all of this extra space, you, you're, you're able to have a nice group of people over. You're able to have these different quiet luxury spaces. And again, each one of our properties are going to have its own wall. So, of course, the land will have its own wall for each home. This home you see has a smaller wall around it. So you still have your own privacy, right? You still have all the, all the, all the inclusiveness so you feel like this is your special area. And that's so important. Because a lot of people build wall to wall. You're right next. You're not in an apartment. You're in the house. But it feels like you're in an apartment. Because right. you can open your window and almost touch the house next to you. So we want to give people that space. You're in Africa, the largest continent in the world. You want to give people the space to feel that they're in the largest continent in the world. And also, you want to give people. See, there's a lot of greenery in uh, these renderings here. There's a couple of changes that we're going to make when it comes to the final design, but you do want to give people a feel of nature. You want to give people a feel that they're not just in this concrete jungle rat race every day. You know, you're, you're a part of nature as well. So there's a lot of eco-friendly ergonomic um, things that we put into this design as well. Right. And, you know, we also, this, this honestly doesn't do it all justice as much as it could because um, I guess it's kind of like a you get what you pay for kind of thing, but we want more. Um, we want to show you guys more of the details, which I feel like we kind of did that with the one that we created. But this one is just better. You know, it's professionally done. I'm not professional at all. But even with this building, you get this um, wall here that will be higher. So this wall will actually be the same height as the entire um, full wall. And that way you can have this area as full privacy. You know, you can be out here and you don't have to worry about, you, do you have a shirt on or do you have pants on? Because you'll actually have a full privacy brick wall and um, I will, and that I, will close that off for you. And I will say the first level is you'll have the most privacy, of course, if you're going on a rooftop yes. and stuff like that, yeah. and you know, you're know you're higher up, you're more presenting yourself. Mm -hmm. But the first level where you see the gentleman walking into the door there, all of that, you'll have privacy. People won't be able to see you. This wall here is a representation of the internal wall, but this is too short. It'll be much higher. It'll be more keen to the height here. So you have all the privacy you need. And also, you guys, in... um on the land so you this unit will be one out of two units that's going to be on the land in the middle of this home around this area it'll actually be a carport so you'll you can pull your car into that area it'll have a cover and then you could proceed to walk through said door into your specific area um but also on there we want to um, make it to where, I don't know, I guess convenience, more convenience. We're used to convenience. And here, even still, they're uh, a big use of convenience as well when you think about Gimby. Because I can go almost on any corner and I can find a mini mark or I can find some shop that I can walk into. 
and buy little things, maybe rice, potatoes, um, and things like that. And so on this land, this entire massive land, we're also going to have um, a building that's similar to this one. It'll be a little bit longer and a little bit wider, but it'll hold the security office. Um, and it'll also be where the security lives. It'll hold the um, in our entertainment area or office space or like like library, room. whatever yeah. you want it to be for you. Um, and we have a uh, an overview of that space in here. Let me see. So this is this is the overview shot here, and yeah, there we go. Um, what she's talking about will be here at the entrance. So as you see here, you'll be able to drive through, mm -hmm. and this is where the parking area will be, and then you can walk into your home area there. But in this front area here will be the actual space where the security office will be, and like you know what she's saying, the meeting room and things of that nature. But you see overall the land, you get a pretty, it's a pretty big size. There'll be two um, modest mansion spots on this land. So there'll be one here. This is one represented. And there'll be another one over here. And you see in between that'll be your parking area space. Yeah. And we also plan on having an extra parking space that'll be over here as well for the, um, kind of merged with the building here. But we plan to try to have as much space we want to encourage um i guess visitation i don't know really what to say but we want to encourage more um or sh or in start introducing more parking space because here we see that parking space is not really a big thing and so we're trying to slowly introduce that into our homes so that people can have more parking space um for their for their homes and then also the borehole um, I can't remember where we want to put the borehole. Well, um, the borehole is always dependent on the layout of the houses on the land. So we're more than likely going to put the borehole either in this back area here in between the two houses. But like I said, there mm -hmm. will be another house home over here. So we put the borehole here and there'll be a feeder tank um, that it feeds to on top of maybe one of the main homes or depending on the distance, which is not too far away, we just pump it directly to the homes. Like here, where we stay right now, um, we have a borehole and there's no, you know, feeder tanks. There's no um, tanks on top of these homes. It just pumps directly to your faucets and your showers and it runs just like that. So we can, depending on the distance, we can definitely have the same setup. But yes, the borehole right now, the plan is to have it here. But if, see, there's a large area on either side over here. And this is space you can put a garden, you can have chairs, you know, you just sit out, whatever. It can even be, it can even help with the entertainment aspect. When you have guests over, you can have them in that area. If, if, the, um, if the occupants choose to pave the whole thing, you know, now that's a whole seating area where you can do events, whatever like that with your family. But the borehole can also be in one of these central areas too, if you have a garden. That way you can get water to your crops as well to the home. Yeah, it's just so much that, that we can do with the space, you guys. Um, and we have big plans for it, big dreams for it. And we're excited. So, you know, just keep watching our videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Is this something that you would like to live in? Um, is this something that you want to know more about? You can always email us um, or hit us up on WhatsApp. And then let us know in the comments as well what you think. But we are excited to bring this to you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. We are excited to announce Vegas Business Group consultations, guys. Now, if you want to come to the Gambia, the Smiling Coast, and you want to come safely, you want to come and have a great experience, and also economically, too, um, consult with us. Contact us at VegasBusinessGroup at gmail.com. We'll let you know, you know, if you need advice on moving to the Gambia, if you need advice on just taking a trip to the Gambia, if you need advice on how we made our first trip and how we was able to do what we're doing, you know, please consult with us. Our consultations are very low rate, you know. Um, make sure you add also why you want to come to the Gambia or what exactly you want to get out of the consultation because that'll also help us 
narrow it down for you. So please guys, you know, anybody that needs that advice, we are so excited to announce our biggest business group consultations for you. Yeah.